Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly and today I wanted to talk about some things that I learned after about 30 days of painting every single day. Painting every single day, I, I've done it for maybe about a month and a half now. Um, I do watercolors and I just learned so much about myself and things that I like and dislike and just overall became a better artist and I highly recommend if you want to get better at a craft or you have an interest do it consistently every day for at least a month and you will see a world of a difference at least I have uh, so for me uh, I guess a little bit about myself I have always done art uh, since I was a kid and I've done it inconsistently basically throughout my whole life and I you know like I, I always thought of myself as an artist but I never I just never did it all the time so I never felt like I was like a real or a true artist and then you know about a month ago or so I decided to just start making art and making art without the pressure you know I realized that the re part of the reason why I wasn't making art as much as I could have been was because of my idea of myself and having to be perfect you know like I I guess in some ways I'm a perfectionist and like I want something to be done a certain way and look a certain way and I just have this like high idea of myself and it, it got in the way of me experimenting with my art so the first thing I did on the very first day I made um, a bad painting. <laughs> um, it was, you know, I, the point of it was just to get my hands in the action of painting again. And I had to free myself of like this whole like perfection idea. And I made a painting that I wasn't proud of and but I'm, I'm happy I did and I mean I I could show it but I don't even I don't even want to show it because um I know that I don't want to show it because there's people who have different ideas of what's good and what's bad so I'm not even gonna show it um, it is not a great painting for like I, I didn't take my time with it at all um, but I wanted to get that out of the way so that I can know like okay I have made something that isn't so great <laughs> and it's okay you know I can keep uh, keep at it and keep trying and try different things and I remember I got to a point in one of the days in the beginning uh, where I didn't want to try something um actually i can show you that so this is one of the first paintings that i made and i wasn't sure if i wanted to put these little gold um lines on it and i decided to just go with it and see how it comes out you know like th this is you know every piece that you make is not going to be a masterpiece it's not going to be you know <laughs> Rembrandt level <laughs> um, art I mean it, it's okay to try things out and see what you like and what you dislike um, okay so see now <laughs> I said I didn't want to show but um, I feel like this is such a show kind of thing. Okay, so here is the first 
painting that I made. Um, it's not, I mean, I, I know I said like, like it's not, it's bad or whatever, but it's not terrible, you know, but it's not the best that I could have done. And I think that, I think that was the key, like just knowing that it's okay to make something that doesn't look, it, it, it's not your best work and it's okay to just make something, you know, just to make it. It's basically, it's, it's okay to practice. It's okay to make something that you don't like. Uh, so yeah, basically, you know, you gotta keep making art until you start liking what you're making. Um, you just keep going and then when you feel like trying something new, you gotta try it, do it. Experiment and see what you like. If you like hyper-realistic things, then do it. You know, if you wanna make that, if you are interested in things like form and negative space and, you know, balance, composition, things like that, you gotta practice that too. Um, materials, whatever it is, practice, practice, practice. Um, I don't want to say practice makes perfect, <laughs> uh, but practice makes better. <laughs> That's certainly true. Practice makes better. Okay, so I'm going to wrap it up. Um, I'm Kimberly again, and thank you for watching. Bye.